Mini you ooh lay. Mini you ooh lay. Hey, what's up, my good people? This is your girl Avril, and I'm on Snappy Seven with Hillary. Join us. It was for me to remind myself that, hey, sh chick, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it was also to empower other women because many times we forget to remind ourselves of the journeys that we've taken mm -hmm. and you feel so depressed because you long for a better future. You're always longing for something that's not with you. But then you forget that five years ago, this was in my life. The things that I've gone through, those times and what I am going through right now, they cannot equate. So for me, it was just to remind myself, but in also in the same process, in the same energy, remind other people out there that, and yeah, mm -hmm. the things that you might go through, but you're stronger than them. Yourself? It was actually written by Amelina. Oh. Really? Yes, Amelina sent me the song, mm -hmm. and I loved it. So when I went to the studio to record it, I just did my own few things in there, but the concept, as basically the lyrics came from Amelina, and I'm so grateful to her because it was a brilliant song, and I couldn't wait to jump on it. It was fun. It was fun. Um, we actually, um, he called me. This song has been in the making for I think like four years. Four years? Yes. Wow. Um, after um, the summer award ceremony that I won best female and he won best male. Mm -hmm. So he was like, yo, chick, by the way, I'm going to get it in for your song. Of course, I can't wait. Then uh, we went to Visita, who's a brilliant, brilliant producer. He actually produced my Niki Moana. Yeah. And he's the one who came up with the, the, the track and everything. And um, we, uh, Ken Rizzi had already recorded something. And I just jumped on it. I was like, okay, cool. Let me go write a verse, mm -hmm. bring it back to you, see what we can be able to do. Shot the video, mm. and there you have it. The video is really good. Where did you shoot it? <laughs> actually shot in Eldoret. Oh, really? Yes. Ah. Home of Champions. I think for me, it's the versatility that I have with my voice. And most of the time when I meet different artists, they, I find myself gelling with them very well. Yes, one, it is for me learning a little bit more because as much as I'm an R&B singer, as much as I'm a vocally, or say I'm a vocalist, I find myself working with all these different genres of music. Yeah. I mean, we have rap, we have hip hop, we have some artists, um, Omi, Bongo, Flavor, um, AY also back in hip hop. And all these things have taught me different things. And I totally enjoy it. It's, it is for my love of culture, experiencing different cultures. Yeah. It's my love for experiencing different genres of music. It's my love of meeting new people and and um, could I call it an amalgamation of, 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 of souls and identities and light and love. As a young person, I'm very passionate about young people mm -hmm. and I try to make, um, could I call it social responsibilities, seem cool. Mm -hmm. Like, um, so many times I tell my young ladies I am not going to come and tell you that don't have sex. I'm not going to come and tell you this and that, this and that, and this and that. I'm just going to tell you to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Because the moment that you're responsible for yourself, you're responsible for entire society and entire community. If you're a girl and a guy doesn't have a condom, carry one. I mean, I mean, that's the message that we need to throw out there. Yeah. For young ladies, for young guys, they need to be, they need to accept that all these things that uh, their peers do, which seem cool, it's cooler to take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, it, I think the message traverses everywhere. It's not cool for you to throw a stone at someone because they are not of your political class or your political inclination mm -hmm. or they are your tribe mate. It's not cool. It's cooler to have them as a friend. Mm -hmm. It's cooler for you to, to think about your future. It's cooler for you guys to think about what's going to happen five years from now, seven years from now, ten years from now. Who am I going to be? It's cooler to think about such kind of things. Yeah. So, drinking and driving, all these things, all these things that seem cool because they are risky, they're not. Right. They're not. So I message to young people, and I always have that message to young people. It's cooler taking care of yourself as compared to living a risky behavior. 
Kenyan, yeah. Kenyans are actually very disciplined. Really? Yes. Mm-hmm. Kenyan men are very disciplined. <laughs> they, they, they like to talk a lot on the mm-hmm. 140 characters, but yeah. when it comes to the real, real... They call you down. They don't. They don't. Like, if I walk out right now, they'll just be like... Yes, it's right. only the chicks will go like, ah, oh, isn't that a real? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But the guys, they tend to just be, oh, hi. How are you? Really? I, mm-hmm. I, so when I see Tim Office, I'm like, please... Mm-hmm. Well, how is it that when I'm at a gig, you're all jumping, jumping up and down? They're just looking at you. But when it comes to Twitter, oh. Oh, there they are. There you are. <laughs> I have like a list of 5,000, 50,000. Mm-hmm. Um, bullying is very rampant on social media. And it's not just a Kenyan thing. I feel like it's a global thing. So I have been one of the people who've, de- who've definitely been on... Um, or rather, I've been uh, on the receiving end of some of um, people's frustrations and people's um, need to, you know, be seen or attention-seeking mm-hmm. tendencies. So um, I could say it works either way. For me, I've grown in the industry for the past eight years, and I've kind of developed a tough skin. So sometimes, I actually have fun with it. So you want to you want to diss me? Ah, let's see. Let's see if you can eat what you serve, yeah? You what go back and forth Of course. Them? Once in a while you have a twiff here, a twiff there. <laughs> I, I kinda it's kinda it it, it 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 actually is therapeutic sometimes because you're like, yo dude, you don't know me. Mm-hmm. You don't know me. So mm-hmm. since you don't know me, mm-hmm. why do you feel entitled to say something negative or something bad about me? So since because of that, let me show you, since I also do not know you, let's go home. Let's enjoy this. So once in a while, mm. once in a while, but I don't, I don't reserve all my energy on social media to do these things because mm-hmm. I mean, money has to be looked for. Yeah, I'm gonna make that money. A lot of new things, a lot of new sounds, mm-hmm. different kind of music. Um, I am working on so much, so 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 much. My years have actually already been planned out april there's something big i might be doing in april Mm -hmm. because it's my birthday month so i'll keep you in the loop but yeah so many amazing things different sounds different um um and also challenging myself on the um, on the film um front getting to a little bit of production perhaps who knows so yeah all right quite a a lot of new things new things coming kuna little little things that you do that blow me away Come on, kukumbuka that na pen na viatus a blue. Ooh, ooh. Well, I'm wearing black shoes for today, but I love blue shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Avril. And don't forget to watch Snappy 7 every Sunday and get all the latest in gossip and a little bit of dirt on Nairobi News. Mwah.